Hello guys, we have already seen what is FCFS CPU scheduling. First come, first up, CPU scheduling. Now, uh, we will try to make a program in C of FCFS that how do we can implement it in Turbo C. So let's check this. MCFS. So let's see what we have done here. We have provided the given header file studio.h, uh, studio.h, and conio.h. And we have declared the number, uh, declared uh, the processes and arrays which we will require. So first, we need to define, uh, enter the number of processes and the, its burst time and the burst time. So, there can be number of uh, processes P1, P2, P3, P4, etc. So, let's first check uh, how we, uh, that what we want to do. So, I will show you what we want to do in FCFS. So, uh, here's uh, it is asking of the number of processes. So, I want there are. Uh, are let's say there are three num processes so it is asking for now burst time of process one so the burst time of process one is let's say 27 minutes of time burst time of second process is three and similarly three right. now you can see it has uh, given us the tabular form that process one burst time is 27 units waiting time is 0, turnaround time is 27 so it has calculated this, their waiting time and turnaround time so this is what we wanted and let's see how we can implement this and so it is asking for the number of processes so we have given 3 here so we have provided it 3 and it and the burst time so so the burst time for the three processes will be so the burst time of three processes will be uh, mbt i ampersand i so we have provided the burst time of the respective processes now we want to calculate its, its waiting time and turnaround time so uh, here till now we have already just entered the number of processes and their respective burst and there's no profit sense here. So uh, here's is the key concept of FCFS uh, waiting time and turnaround time. So here we will first calculate the waiting time. So the waiting time we know that uh, in any process the first waiting time in FCFS the waiting time always starts from zero that the, num that the first process will uh, do not have to wait so we have provided the waiting time for the first process is zero so it will print the waiting time for the first process zero so from now from zero it will start so the waiting time for the first process will be zero. Waiting time for the second process will be uh, will be the burst time and its previous waiting time. So here's the formula of waiting time. Similarly, uh, we also want to calculate the turnaround time. So the turnaround time will be uh, turnaround time can be referred to as uh, the time taken by the process, uh, the time between submission and completion of that process, the so submission and uh, completion of that process. So it, uh, so it uh, is the the time required to complete its process that is first time plus uh, how did it waited for that process to begin. So waiting time and burst time will be our turnaround time 
So we have printed in the table of format here. First the process will be and a little space between them and then burst time and then again little space between them and then again waiting time and then again little space and then turnaround time. And now we have entered all the calculated uh, uh, I prefer calculated process number here and then again here the burst time and this will be our waiting time and this will be our turnaround time so this is all the table in will be in tabular format so let's see enter the number of processes so let's say in this time the number of processes is say first process will be uh, let's say 34 